Welcome to Michael's Beer Review. Tonight I'm reviewing Haparola, Haparillo, Haparillo by Knee De, De, Deep Brewing out of, uh, where are they out of? They're in California. I think they're in the middle of California. Let me see here. Placer County, California, probably up or near. Central California or Northern California, up far up there, Oregon border. Been sipping on it. It's a triple IPA, Hopperillo. I had their Centrenia. I thought it was one of the best beers I've ever had um, for IPAs. It was a triple IPA. I think I rated it 99 or 100. Um, yeah, these are big beers. 11% alcohol, I think. Triple Indian IPA. Yep, 11%. IBUs are 122. So, let's see. Looks like a, an IPA. Yeah, this got big, big smell. You know, the grapefruit. Even some herb, herbal smell, tangerine. I have some berries. That's a great smell. Been sipping on it. Aparillo, triple IPA, deep knee, deep knee deep, deep knee, knee deep brewing company. Yeah, this is awesome. It has a, it, it's not not really hoppy though. That's the thing. It's scary because it has I think the most setic the most setic hops just makes the the has a more of a sweetness, gives it a bready taste, kind of a not a bready, but it gives it more of a balance. I think those types of hops gives it fruit. It can taste the fruit, blueberries, tangerines, the earthiness, herbal tea. Tons of flavor in here. You get the the pininess, not a credible piney, not real pininess like stone or uh, uh, green flash. It just has a good balance. It has Again, it has more of a a tangerine berry sweetness to it which balances it out perfectly yeah the tropical fruit I think the mosaic hops that they use makes it way different beer than uh, the stone beers or the or the Sierra Nevadas it just makes it with all the with the all the IBUs you would think it would be hoppy it's not hoppy it's hoppy enough but I've had it has a creamy mouthfeel too. It has a good mouthfeel. Kind of a woody taste in it too. I Man, it's the alcohol. It has so much flavor. Piney, grapefruit, citrusy. Again, blueberries. Kind of a taste. Tangerine, herbs, like a even like a tea. Black tea taste. It's an excellent, excellent beer. Incredible. For what it is, ah oh, man, knee deep brew, brewing. They say on here, so it got a weird bottle here for fine craft beer. It is fine craft beer. Tell you what, man, there's some beers that are are not as drinkable as this, and they're like all day IPAs or even like pale ales. I have pale ales that drink like this. It's a, definitely a sipping beer. How would I rate it? It's one of the best beers I've ever had. I'd rate it uh, probably a hundred. I, I think I rated it the Semtra a hundred too. I like the beer. I like the style. It's something different, way different than Green Green Flash makes all hoppy beers. I don't know. I've been have had all their beers. Stone, most of them are hot forward. It has that lingering. This doesn't linger that much. Actually, it's different because it doesn't linger and it has a sweet aftertaste. A sweet multi aftertaste, kind of weird. Like I said, it has a lot, a lot of taste. You name it, it has ta again tangerines, lemons, pininess, herbal tea type taste, kind of a woody taste. It has totally. It's a full flavor beer for sure. Nah, I couldn't detect eleven percent. It'd be like drinking a again all time eight. All day IPA and not even knowing it. This will get you in trouble too. And the, and the mouth feels awesome. It's creamy. 
No, you're drinking a beer. Um, what can you say? <laughs> the best beer I've had, probably one of the top ten at least. Even uh, the other, the other one is. Uh, I just like the way they do it. It's different. There are not many beer companies that do it like this. I don't think. Uh, I mean, I haven't drank all the IPAs. Most of my IPAs taste like Sierra Nevada. They all taste hop forward, and you get the lingering hops, and then tangerine, the pine lingers on your, on your tongue. This doesn't. It has more of a sweetness aftertaste. It's different. You gotta love different. And I like hops and I like malts and I like this, the, all the different tastes. Ain't something you wanna drink all the time. It's only it was like nine ninety nine a bottle, so it wasn't was it too expensive? But uh yeah, it's great beer. I've been seeing like I said, all the green green flash beers are way they're not way happy for me, but it's something that you don't wanna drink all day. I can drink this every day almost but it wouldn't be 11% alcohol but great beer exceptional outstanding 100% if you have it if it's by you in California if you're in California I bought it in wine and more they have them Hopperunia Hopper, Hop, <laughs> Hopperillo Hopperillo Knee Deep Brewing I think it's in they, they say the county for some reason E.D. Brewing, Auburn, Placer County, California. That's a county I don't know. <laughs> but they have a, they have a website, www.needbrewingcup.com. Check them out. It's in your area. Ask for it. Awesome beer. It's different. Again, then your Lagunitas, which is way hopped out, or your, your Stone, which is always hopped forward, and you don't get no balance in there. This is way, 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 way balanced in that. I don't mind those, they're balanced enough for me, but Lagunitas sometimes is way out of the control. This is balanced, has a lot of flavor. Thanks for watching, comments, questions.